All right, so what you're looking at there is a practice thing for painting. So I've decided to take a little time out today and get used to my gun or try to get used to the paint gun and see how this goes. What I've done so far, first, first and foremost, I bought a new air hose. This is a 50 foot 3 8 inch air hose and I've already doing some work on the car. I've already noticed that the airflow that, through this thing, as you would expect anyways, hugely different, huge, hugely different. So I'm going to use that. I've got the gun set up. So I, this is again the first time that I'm going to be using it. So I've mixed up some acrylic black, just acrylic black paint that I also picked up at Walmart. This was like another three bucks maybe for 16 ounces. I got a couple of those. Uh, so obviously it's water based. So I don't have to worry about one, wasting any good paint to practice. And two, it's non-toxic or anything like that. So I don't have to really worry about safety gear and stuff getting in here and flying around it and making me choke to death. But I'm essentially going to do it the same way I would do it as if I'm trying to mix the epoxy. So because I don't really know what this thing will mix to, it comes out a little bit like mud. So I knew that I had to cut it with some water. So I did about a, a two to one between a two and a three to one mixture. And it, uh, I'm, again, I'm not sure if that's the consist. Oops, sorry about that. I'm not sure if that's the consistency that I'm looking for, but it's definitely, I would hope, sprayable. Um, again, I don't, I don't really know. I'm not going to be too concerned. It did put a 1.5 millimeter tip in. It had the 1.3 in originally. So essentially what I'm going to do is just try to get used to the gun and see what all the little adjustments do. I know that this guy here is the air pressure, this guy here is the paint supply, how much paint supply you have, and then the guy down here on the regulator is obviously going to be the air supply. So you set that up to about 23 pounds per square inch on that little gauge there, and then let it rip. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get this set up and get the camera over there on the tripod and we'll see how it goes. Alright everybody, as you can see, I've already started spray painting. I made the cardinal sin of thinking my camera was recording when it was not. So I want to show you right. So right now I got the black acrylic in here. Uh, probably end up with about six ounces, eight ounces or so. So I have no idea how long this is going to go. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick the pressure adjustment here. So essentially, this is the pressure gauge that came with the gun, and then you've got a. Um, knob over on the other side and I've set this up this way because I figure it'll be the easiest for me to, to kind of look at. We'll see if that's true or not. But you can adjust this knob. Now right now you notice that it's pegged high. So I've got air pressure coming in here. I don't know what it is, 100 pounds or something like that from the wall, which I probably should back off on a little bit. Um, but because it's a differential pressure gauge and there's no pressure on the other side because it's not flowing, you get maximum. So you pull the trigger a little bit on this guy not all the way and you'll get air to flow but not paint so when I pull it you'll notice that the gauge will go down and you want to set this for about 23 pounds with this knob so you're not going to be able to hear anything because the noise is going to make but you can see the needle move all right so you can see that all right so that that's the air pressure adjustment and you want it like I said about 23 pounds according to the manual then I've got two adjustments up here I've got my paint adjustment allows it controls the flow of the gun coming out or the paint coming out of the gun and then I've got air adjustment, or excuse me, I've got um, trigger adjustment here, and that's how far the needle is going to go back. So you want the needle, at least what I have read essentially, is you want the needle essentially set all the way out. Right now I have the paint dialed all the way in, and what I believe that does is provides maximum paint, and that's why I'm getting, if you can see, that's why I got the dots on the wall. What I should be looking for is like a football pattern, like a nice round oval. I didn't see that at all, and I think it's because of the way that I've got my paint set. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit again and uh, see what it looks like. All right, you can already see how it's starting to fade out. Now I got my nozzle on wrong. Here, hold on. All right. So now it's very, not very wet, right? All right, so that's probably pretty close to what I would want. A little, um, still a little crooked. 
I don't know how important it is to get it straight up and down, but there you go. A little bit more paint. All right. So now I'm just going to, you know, practice. All right. So I think I would want more paint there. That's uh, one coat, definitely not very full. Of course, I am far away too, so that probably can help. So I believe you're supposed to be relatively close, six or eight inches tops from the gun. So I can tell already that that's probably going to be my greatest challenge: is, is getting, staying close, close to it, because I'm used to. Uh, like the spray guns telling you 10 to 12 inches away or the, the cheapo um, rattle cans. You can already see here you got this little drip going. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't heard the air compressor kick on yet. So that's good. So that, that's giving me an idea that the air compressor is going to be able to hack painting. Uh, I, would, I expected it to come on already. Play a little bit here. Yeah, you can really, as I dial that in, you can see how um, bad that pattern is as far as football shaped. All right, well, pretty happy. I'll leave my uh, modern art up here for a little while, let it dry, and then get rid of that, and uh, probably throw up some more pieces here in a little while. But, uh, but yeah, that's about it, so pretty cool.